Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be doing a rolling restart of my Elasticsearch cluster. I have a cluster of three nodes and I'm going to do a restart of one node at a time which is called a rolling restart. You have two options. You have the full cluster restart and the rolling restart. The full cluster restart um, is shutting down all the nodes and the rolling restart is shutting down and restarting one node at a time and that's the only difference. I'm gonna run through these steps uh, really quick here of the rolling restart so you disable first shard allocation because the, the node is going down temporarily and you don't want the replica shards to start replicating before it shuts down so you set the cluster routing allocation enable this option to primary shards only. You set it to primaries so that replica shards do not start transferring to other nodes. And then you stop non-essential indexing and perform a flush with this API request post flush. And this helps with shard recovery uh, to be faster. And then temporarily um, stop the tasks of machine learning jobs. And this is optional. Uh, I have a basic license, so I don't have any machine learning jobs. I will skip this step. And then you shut down the node, one single node, with stop, con uh, stop system control stop Elasticsearch service, or this is in my case. And then you do any uh, needed changes. If you want, you can do DNF upgrade. Uh, you want to upgrade Elasticsearch to a different firmware uh, release. And then you restart the node and then after that you run this request get cat nodes just to make sure the node rejoined the cluster and after that you re-enable shard allocation with this same setting but you uh, set it to null and it starts uh, sharding again between the nodes and then you repeat for the other nodes. You go to step one and start with uh, node two and then three and then uh, and so on. And I will do that here for the first node. I'll show you the first node. I'll go to the dev tools. I have these steps uh, copy pasted to my uh, console here. So first of all, disable shard allocation. I will run this API request here. It's acknowledged true. And then I will run the post flush. Total 71, successful 71. And then we shut down a single node. And I'm going to show you node number one. So I'm just going to say system control stop elastic search. And this is where you can do DNF upgrade or whatever the change you, you need. And then you can do a reboot. So I'll wait for a couple of minutes here until it comes back. Okay, it is back up. I'm going to check the Elasticsearch service. It is still activating. It, it needs a few seconds. I'll wait for that. Okay, maybe a minute. Okay, and now it is active and running. I'll go back here to the console. I will check if the node joined the cluster, get cat nodes. And I can see I have the three nodes and node number one here is in the list. So it joined the cluster and then we re-enable shard allocation. And before that, I'm just going to show you the cluster health. It says here it is yellow or you can run this one. Oh, same thing. So I'm going to re-enable sharding. It says acknowledged true and cluster health is yellow and you can see unassigned shards number 38 if you run it again 
the number one down i have a small cluster so not 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 a lot of data and now it is back to green and you can see unassigned shards is zero this is node number one I will do that for nodes two and three. So I will repeat from the beginning here, step number one. So now, for example, uh, node two, the Elasticsearch service is running and I ran this API request before it started running and I didn't see node two in the, in the cluster. Now, after Elasticsearch service started running again, I will be able to see node two in the cluster. So to join the cluster properly, I will re-enable sharding and I will check the cluster health until it is green again. And I can monitor the unassigned shards. The number here is going down pretty quickly here and it's back to green. And I will do that for the last node and it is back to green. And you can run this API request here, get cat nodes and the headers or the titles of the columns, IP and name and version. And you will see the version of each node. If you are upgrading uh, the cluster, you can check what version is every node that you restarted. I'll go back here to the monitoring the cluster is healthy and green and if i go back to discover the discover app i can see in those last 15 minutes the data was still being indexed in my uh, cluster while i was restarting uh, node one and then two and then three so i did not lose the service and this is everything for this tutorial Consider subscribing if you want to see more tutorials about Elasticsearch. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.